In this lesson, we're going to talk about lesson number eight, laws of thermal, thermal dynamics. The laws of thermal dynamics dictates how energy is transferred from one object to another as heat. So what are systems? Well, systems is a phrase we use in science that dictates what is part of the reaction or the, or the thing that we're observing. So a system is the set of parts involved in our reaction slash energy transfer because everything else is the surroundings. You wouldn't remember these words because we would remember three different types of systems we have. We have a open system, which means there's an exchange in matter and energy with the surroundings. We have a closed system, which is just an exchange of energy. And then we have also an isolate system which is no exchange. What are the laws of thermodynamics? Well, there's actually three laws that dictates what happens to all systems and how energy is transferred. There's the first law. The first law is that energy cannot be created nor destroyed. What this is really saying is that total energy is constant. When we talked about this before, there are examples of this, such as, for example, gasoline. We say that gasoline, which is a chemical energy, will turn into sound, because a car engine will have make sound, it will make heat, it will move the car in mechanical and it will also make create lights energy. So that's an example of this where the total energy, the total energy of the gasoline will produce these types of energy but they'll be the same on both sides if you were to measure it. What is the second law of thermodynamics? The second law of thermodynamics states that heat will always flow naturally from hot to cold objects. Okay, so an example of this would be when you melt ice. What's causing the ice to melt is your hot hand will melt ice that is cold. Or another one is when you get close to a heater, you feel the heater's warmth because it is causing the heat to move from the heater to the air. The third law of thermodynamics is talking about entropy. Entropy is what we call randomness, randomness, or the movement of atoms. of any pure substance is zero at absolute zero. So that means that the moving atom will become zero. That means it'll stop moving when it's at the temperature absolute zero. Now the temperature absolute zero is a specific temperature. It is zero degrees Kelvin or negative 273.15 degrees Celsius. So at that temperature, all matter stops moving. As always, make sure you keep yourself safe and healthy, and I'll see you soon.